Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to get going. What lies ahead, I have no way of knowing. But under my feet, baby, the grass is growing. Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to get going. So in this video, we're going to be dealing with a connectivity issue that I've had, and I understand others have had from looking on the internet, with the uh, Franklin T9 hotspot, which is being distributed through T-Mobile. And the issue is that even when you see on the front panel that you're actually connected to the internet, that when you try and tie into it, you end up with your device, in my case, a couple of laptop computers running Windows 10 slash 11 with this message that says that the hotspot is hooked up, but you don't have any internet. And I want to deal with how to fix that, how I fixed it, and how you may be able to fix that in your particular case. And if you've ever gone into your Wi-Fi settings trying to hook into your Franklin, mine, this is the name of mine that I've changed it to. And we'll hit connect. And we'll see what it comes up with. It says it's connected and secure. So that means we should have internet. Well, I'm going to open the browser, Google Chrome. And it's by default going to go to google.com, but it's loading, 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 and it says we have no internet. Well, what happens when it does that is it kicks the modem off or the hotspot off. And as we try to reconnect, it takes more and more time and says basically that it's connected, but that there's no internet, but the Wi-Fi itself is secure. So what we want to do is uh, figure out how to uh, remedy this. And the way we're going to do it, since we know we're hooked up to the hotspot via Wi-Fi, we're going to go to our, our web browser window and up here to the URL window, and we're going to type in each HTTP and colon front slash front slash 192.168.0.1. What uh, I hit enter, and what that does is it opens up the uh, control menus for the uh, T9. So we're in the home portion. We're going to want to go to settings. And as soon as I click on settings, it's going to ask us to log in with our administrative password. If you have not changed your administrative password to this hotspot, your um, administrative password will be admin, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. But I've changed mine, so I've got to enter it. And when I hit enter, it should open up to the settings menu. We're going to go over here to the left side and go to mobile network. Click on it, and we're going to go from there up to APN and click there. Now on mine, you notice over here on the right, there are four lines and their profiles. They're numbered, and there's the blue marker on the uh, very top one. The very top one, we're going to have to make a new profile, which is very easy. And what we're going to be changing with the new profile is this very thing at the end here that says IPv4 v6. I believe that means IP version 4 version 6. And uh, the there, there's a conflict with the uh, v6 aspect of this profile. So as we begin a new profile, we're going to go down here to add. Okay, and you see a new line opened up. Now, if you have four profiles like I have, you should rename this one based on the sequence sequentially. So if your last one is number four, make this profile number five. And that's what I'm going to type in right there. If you have a different number of them there, I would suggest that you add the next number in the sequence as well. I'm going to hit the tab key and we move over to this other box. Now in this box we want exactly the same information that is in this box. And the way I'm going to get that is I'm going to highlight it by 
scrolling over it. I'm going to copy it, hitting Control C, and then I'm going to distribute that information uh, from the clipboard down here by hitting Control V. And it's exactly the same information that was there at the top. So then we're going to hit the tab key one, two, three, and four times. Um, yours probably will look like this, where it will have the same setting as up here that you'll have to change. IP uh, V4 or V6. So you're going to hit the down arrow, and that should give you the option of either IP version 4, IP version 6, or the two together. And we're going to choose IP V4. And once that is set up, we're going to hit OK. Now, the profile is there. We're going to want to take the blue indicator and come down here to tap it on there so that that's highlighted. And we have to remember to save our changes. Now, when we do this, it's going to um, prompt us that the APN changes have been saved. Please reboot the device manually. So that means we need to turn off our uh, T9 uh, and turn it back on. And um, then we're going to be able to move on from there. I'd like you to notice that I made a mistake here. And this did not completely copy over right here. And I, when I highlighted, I did not highlight the F for fast. So here's how you make a change. You go back here to edit and we'll put highlight in the right place and I'll just type in the F um, like that and everything else looks fine so I'm going to hit OK I'm going to hit save changes and of course it's going to ask me to re reboot manually we've already gone over that but that's how you make a change if you need to All right, and uh, now we've rebooted the uh, T9, and we're going to go over here again to our uh, to see our uh, Wi-Fi networks that are available, and I'm going to go to mine again and click on it, click connect, and we'll see if everything has taken hold. You notice it says connected and secure. The no internet uh, warning is uh, gone. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to open up my browser. And again, it's going to go to Google and Zoom. There we go. As soon as it gets to this page, I know we're on the internet. Uh, I'm going to type in uh, Amazon just for fun. And uh, just go there and show that, yes, in fact, we are on the internet. So that's the fix for, uh, for the Franklin uh, T9. Uh, the, now this is uh, the T-Mobile's method of, of uh, dealing with the issue. Obviously, they're the service provider. It may be different if you're using that uh, hotspot with a different provider. But uh, theoretically, it should be basically the same, uh, same type of issue. So check with their uh, uh, technical support and uh, if you need more help. I hope this has been helpful to you. Far away from your troubles and worries, you belong somewhere you feel free. You belong somewhere.